Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to do some light switches. So as you can see here, the left switch control the left light and the right switch control the right lights. You can add different colors and everything is controlled by only one blueprint. In your project, first thing we're going to create a folder where you're going to put all your, your blueprints in it going to right click and I'm going to create a blueprint interface so go on blueprints here and select interface I'm going to call that light interface and I'm going to open that in your in light interface you're going to rename that function here for toggle lights and basically as you can see it's only read only so it's just going to help us to communicate between a blueprints that's the only thing I'm going to do with that uh, interface. I'm just going to compile and save. Now we're going to create the blueprint light. So we're going to right click, select blueprint class and just take an actor. I'm just going to call that light underscore BP. And I'm just going to go in it. I'm just going to move that here uh, on the top. First thing, we're going to go to the class setting and we're going to implement the interface that we did here on the top. So this, we're going to implement that to our light blueprint. So we're going to click here on HAD and search for the name that you give to your interface. So for me, it's light interface. And I'm going to compile and save that. So now in the blueprint, I'm going to search for a static mesh. So I'm going to take that right here. If you do have the starter content installed, you can search for lamp. And for me, I'm going to use the one for the ceiling. I'm just going to rotate that so it's face up like this. When it's done, you select your static mesh and we're going to search for a spotlight. And same, we're going to move the spotlight to the top of the static mesh. And we're just going to rotate that so it's, it's point in the good direction like this. I'm just going to move it a little bit further down, something around those lines here. I'm going to compile and save that. Now we're going to go to the construction script. Here we're just going to make a little logic to be able to see the lights. So basically to turn the light on and off. So first we're going to take our spotlight. We're going to drag that to the screen. From the spotlight we're going to drag and search for visibility. And we're going to get set visibility. We're going to plug that to the construction script. We're going to create a variable here. It's going to be boolean and we're going to call that is on interrogation mark. Here we're going to make sure that we click and check the box editable. And we're going to drag that on the screen here. We're going to do a get and we're just going to plug that right to the new visibility. Compile and save. From the construction script, we're going to move to the event graph. Make sure you delete everything that you have there. We're going to search here and search for our toggle light that we created earlier in the blueprint interface. And we're going to take the one with event. Click on that. You know we have the good one because you have a little uh, icon here on the corner. So from that, we're going to take our is on. And we're going to drag that right here. We're going to do a get. And we're going to get it again. But this time, we're going to take a set. We're going to plug that to the even toggle light. And from that, we're going to search for not. So this one here. And we're going to plug that right here. From that here, we're going to take our spotlight once again. And from that, we're going to search for the visibility. We're going to take the set visibility. We're going to plug that here. And we're going to make sure that we plug the set right here in the new visibility. Now from this, we're going to drag again. I mean, we're going to take our spotlight again. And we're going to search this time for light color. We're going to get that light color here. So the set light color. We're going to connect this right here. And we're going to click on the new light color. And we're just going to promote that to a variable. I'm going to just change the name to light color like so. And I'm going to make sure that 
I can exit that. So I'm going to check this box. I'm going to compile and save. From here, we're just going to go back to a third person map and we're going to create our light switch. So we're going to right click and get blueprint. I'm going to take an actor. I'm just going to call that light switch. I'm going to open it here on add. I'm going to search for collision box. And I'm going to add a cube. I'm just going to resize the cube so it's fit in the collision box. So it's going to be my switch. I'm just going to resize a little bit as well the collision box so it's a little bit bigger. Compile and save that. From the viewport here, we're just going to move to the event graph. You can delete uh, what you have on the screen here and just keep the uh, event big and play. From that, we're going to drag and get all the actor from class. So this one here. And here on the drop box, we're going to select the light that we created earlier. So our blueprint. From the other actor here, we're just going to drag and search for for each loop. So the first one here, and I'm going to make sure we connect that together. And here on the element array, we're just going to promote that to a variable. And I'm just going to call that light array like this. And now you can remove that because we have to change here. We have to put an array like this. I'm going to compile that. Now we can move that right here I'm gonna do a get and from the loop body here we're just gonna search for add I'm just gonna go up a little bit I'm gonna take the one from the array so the first add here now you'll be able to connect your array element down here and your light array to the head here compile and save that so from that when it's done we're just gonna go a little bit further down take our box collision going to add a big in overlap and we're going to do that once again for the end overlap from each of them we're going to put an input so this one here is going to be enable input and the bottom one here will be disable oops disable input from the player controller we're going to get the player controller Gonna plug that to the enable input as well. And we're all good for that. So I'm just gonna move that a little bit further down. So now you need an action key. So for me, I'm gonna use the E key. So you can click on your keyboard and search for the E key uh, for your keyboard. However, uh, the good practice to do is go to project setting, go to input and just create an action mapping and put the key that you want. So from this point here, uh, I just remember that I forget to uh, show you something here. So we're going to go back to the light blueprint and the light blueprint here. You're going to add a variable and you're going to call that light index and you're going to change the type to an integer and make sure that uh, you click here that you can exit that as well like this. Compile that and save. So now we can return to the light switch and we'll be able to continue our um, logic here. So we're going to search for the action mapping that we just did. So or the action key for me, I'm going to take that from that, the press here, I'm going to search for a gate. I'm going to get that. I'm going to plug the open to the input and I'm going to put the disable to the close from the exit here. I'm going to search for four each loop like this and I'm going to take my light array element here I'm going to do a get and plug that right here for for each loop I'm going to zoom here so it's a little bit easier to see from that now uh, what we have to do uh, we're going to drag here not here but here from the array element and we're going to search for the light index that we did earlier uh, but we're going to get the one from the light blueprint like so. And from that here, I'm going to search for equal. 
I'm going to take the operation here, so equal this one. And from the bottom here, we're going to take the light index that we have here. I'm going to do a get and put it right here. From, um, from that now, we're just going to be on the keyboard to do a branch. We're going to connect the loop body to the branch and the condition to the equal. And from the true here, we're just going to search for toggle light that we created in our light instance. So we're going to get um, the one that say message next to it. And the target of that will be the array element right here. So from that now, we shall have everything we need to make it work. So we're just going to compile and save. Now we just have to put the blueprint in our map. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put one lamp on the top here and I'm going to put one down here and one down there. So I'm going to do three switches. So I'm going to take one here, one here and one here. So basically how it's work. The first switch here has an index of zero. And here that lamp has also an index of zero. So those two will work together. So now I'm just going to change the color. So I'm going to put a white color. And I'm going to take the second lamp here. I'm just going to change the index and put one. I'm going to change the color for red. And same thing on the switch. I'm going to make sure that I put the index of one. And on the third map, I mean the third lamp. I'm going to put green as a color, make sure that the index is 2 and that the light switch has the same index. So now if I do play, so this one should turn this one and this one the middle and this one this one. So basically if you want to, you can set up also another lamp so I can set up this one here and just duplicate that and do play. Now this switch will turn those three on as you can see. And if you don't like the color of one, you can change manually all the colors. Something around this. So if I do play now, this one turn this one, but this one will turn those three lamp here. So it's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. So hopefully it was helpful and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.